Hey guys, Kedja Rain here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get the lightning bow in Dorizon Draken. And first you want to get fill up all the dragons so you can get the Wrath of the Ancients, and if you don't know how to do that, um, just search up a video. It It's really easily to find on YouTube. And so once you have the Wrath of the Ancients bow, and this is the area that you get it in, once you have it, you want to go up the stairs near the clock tower, and, uh, or actually go to the death ray, and there'll be this weather vane, and you want to shoot it with your bow, and it should break the wall in the tower, and it should pop out with a little broken arrow, and you want to pick that up, and walk over to the clock tower, and there'll be this little kind of wooden hut off into the distance, and I'm gonna skip it here because I am a terrible shot and I kept missing it. But you'll know once you've gotten it because it once you hit it with your arrow, it will um, go up in flames as you can see here. And um, you need to do three of these. And that was the first one. The second one is right over by double tap. And you want to head your way down under the little bridge right here. And this one's kind of tricky to get to just because it's in a small area and you could die, end up dying. And um, it's right off into the distance. And this one I got on my actually got on my first try. So as you can see there, it's right on that edge of the mountain. And just be careful right there because I almost ended up dying right there. So and the last one is down by the teleporter. You want to have to open up the door and go into the teleporter. And you'll teleport in the rocket area. And this last one is right up on this mountain. I'm going to show you here, right up there on that little platform. And you shoot it. I actually got that one on my first try, too. And there we go. That's the first step completed. Now, the next step is you want to head up through the Wonder Sphere and um, make sure and make sure you activate all the landing pads as you go and because that'll help out a lot and once you get once you complete all those uh fire huts you want to head into the moon room or the zero gravity room and you want to see these little symbols right here the little i'm gonna slow it down for a second here so those little wind symbols they should be flashing and you have to run along the wall and activate all five i believe I think, yeah, I think there's five, but you have to activate all five in one run, and if you fall, you have to do it over again. You'll Once you've completed it, you'll hear this sound. And there you go, once you've completed it, um, which, what you want, have to do now is go back to all of the general areas where you did the flaming huts or whatever, and you'll see these little electric vases things. And um, you have to kill zombies in the certain area, so you can gather souls, and I, th I believe it's to five zombies, so it's not that much. So you just sit here, and you just... The easiest way I would do it is just get out your arrow and kill them with the area... And in the area, and once, and you'll know when you've gotten all the souls is when you kill zombies and they won't drop the souls anymore. That was the first one in there in the clock room. The next one is by the L car, and right above a double tap, and you and you just kill zombies in here. Do the same thing for all three of them, and um, yeah, I just pull out my arrow here, and that way that'll gather up a lot of souls. And the next one, the last one, is down by the rocket area again. You can either use the teleporter. Or actually, if you got the landing pad, you could use the Wonder Sphere, which is easier because if you go from that one to the last one, you can just use the Wonder Sphere and then use the Wonder Sphere again. You can launch all the way down to the rocket pad. And the last one is right in this little corner over here. And you just kill five zombies here again, the same thing. And um, I'm going to skip it here in a second. And once you've gotten all of these zombies collected, you want to charge your arrow, so just press the trigger and charge your arrow, and you should get this, the end of your arrow should be mixed, it should be like a fire electric mix, 
And what you have to do is charge your arrow and walk all the way down to the nearest uh, fire hut. And you should shoot the arrow onto the fire hut. Of course, I'm a terrible shot and I miss a bunch of times, so I just skipped it to where I actually do make it. And as you can see here, if you make it, you'll see uh, this electric spiral tornado kind of thing go around the hut mixed in with this fire and you do the same for all three of these so for the one by the L car um, you just go down to this one the easiest way to the if you want to know a shortcut you just open that barrier it only costs 500 and this one you walk all the way down here of course this one took me a couple tries and I'm gonna skip it here in a second and show you the final part where I actually make it and yeah, and you cannot shoot it. You cannot shoot the arrow, so you have to charge up the arrow, and of course you can't run, so you have to walk all the way down, so, all the way down without shooting it. Because if you fire off and you miss, you have to walk all the way back to the electric vase and charge it up again, and it's best to just get on your first try. And here's the last one. Go in the clock tower, and this one I got on my first try. And there you go, that's the second step of the quest completed. Now this last step is, is the easiest step. You you should see the weather vane on fire and electric, and there should be this little purple, uh, not purple, blue gas cloud. And you just all you have to do is just press X on it, and it should go up into the weather vane. And you should wait a couple seconds, maybe like 5, 10 seconds maybe. And it should come back down with a blue, uh, a fixed arrow, and it's a blue arrow. And um, you just run up to this arrow and press X, and that should complete your quest. So you've done, you've done the entire lightning quest completed. Now all you have to do is just charge the arrow and go into the moon room and find the chest you need to put it in. And there are four chests around the gatekeepers. And this chest, the the this chest is right there, and you just press X on it, and you'll put the arrow in the chest, and you'll get a max ammo for free. And all you have to do is just kill zombies, and in the general area of the chest, I I I would, if I were you, I would just go keep circling around the pyramid in the middle. That way, you could just have a train of zombies going behind you. And once you have enough souls, of course it'll stop giving souls to the chest, and you'll hear a little sound and uh, indicating that your your chest is complete. Now all you have to do is just walk up to the chest, drop your bow in it, and it should take three seconds to charge, and boom, you've got the lightning arrow. And now this arrow, I mean, not this arrow, this bow is really cool. It, if you charge it up, it'll have like sort of like this tornado lightning strike kind of thing and it spins around, kills zombies, and it is absolutely a beast of a bow. It is is probably the easiest bow to get in Dorizen Draken and um, probably one of the uh, most reliable bow. <laughs> in my opinion. I don't use this bow a lot. My friend my friend uses it a lot when we do it when we do co op. And of course I do the hard bows like the magma bow and the void bow. And here's just gameplay of it of me just having fun with it, just shooting it around, spamming off arrows and everything. And yeah guys if you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get the lightning bow. I'll be making tutorials on the other bows, on the other three bows soon. So be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.